Did you see the the scam that they were trying to do in New York City, where they were trying to give them debit cards for ten thousand dollars, but there's people getting cuts all along the way. That wasn't a scam. That was business that got uncovered. Yeah, and, and I'll prove it to you. When you go to like if you go to jail in New York, everybody goes to Rikers Island. So I was in Rikers Island. So if you got if you got money on you when you go in, they give you a card when you leaving and it's got money on it. Your mm. amount like systems are the system like right. Yeah. There's a lot of money being made. Yeah, A lot of money being tossed around in the system. And if you have a thing like an open immigration policy, for sure, someone's figuring out how to profit off that. Someone's figuring out something about that. No, no, you're looking at it the wrong way. There is no one who isn't profiting. Everyone's profiting. I'm saying, how ridiculous is it for you to think you have the greatest country in the world and then... It'd not be a big deal to get there. Of course. What do you mean? Of course. This is the hunt, the 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 bees saying, "Why do they love our honey so much?" Right? <laughs> well, no one's shocked at that. What people are shocked at is that there's no effort whatsoever to stop the stem of illegal immigration. That's what people are freaked out about. Like it seems like we're it's not on freaked out about the loss of bees. I am. If all the bees are gone, we're, we're going to die as a civilization because we didn't protect one of the most important insects in the whole ecosystem. Yeah. Right. So, you know. And they think cell phone signals are fucking them up, too. Well. The, Can you imagine you've the, been a bee forever, and then all of a sudden someone introduces cell phone signals everywhere? And this like, is oh, part no. of the purpose of religion in society is to try to get you away from exploring all of the things you could be doing with your time and put it somewhere that's healthier. Like, what do you mean? Like principles of meditation and, you know believing that you should be trying to do a good job and being nice, you know, because it's not really that profitable, right? But here we are talking about, you know, that's what really would help our country and civilization if we treated the downtrodden better. But the truth is, is very little money in that. Yeah. It's very little money in that. The truth is that the immigrants that come over here are, are generally super qualified at something. Yeah, and motivated. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. If yeah. I just walked and that's, here, that's what's made all immigration important. Mm -hmm. it, um, you know what I mean? Like um, the 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 Mexican people were the second. Or, well, they were their own jolt to the civilization of the fact that, yeah, you say, oh, they shouldn't come over, but anybody that comes over willing to work hard and succeed, and those are people you want a yeah. part, and they immediately help. Like, you can look at the extremes, of course, but um, the benefit. Um, are astronomical and always have been since Pangea. Yeah, the benefits are great. The side effects are crime. And that's what you have to be careful of, especially when you got organized crime that's coming in to sell fentanyl. You got a lot of that. That's a, that's a wild one because well, that, that's propped up by laws. That's propped up by our drug laws. And that, that puts you in a real complicated situation. Like, do you make drugs legal? Everything? Everything legal. The problem is you're going to get a bunch of people to get addicted to drugs that probably wouldn't without that. And then nope. you have to say, is that just part of the process? We have to learn to deal with this new thing that's everywhere and, and readily available. And how many people are going to try it just because it's legal? Probably quite a few. But at least how many people are not going to die from fentanyl poisoning because they're going to get pure stuff? Probably a lot. Uh... 
yeah, that, well, talking fentanyl in specific, like, it's a very difficult conversation to have because most of the things that we will all agree are terrible drugs aren't being used at the hospital. Right. So until that part gets um, taken, like, it's it's a bad look all the way around. Mm -hmm. But, But the bar has been set so high. Like, everything that's called a drug nowadays is terrible. (laughs) (laughs) Like, there's been no evolution. Like, yikes. Well, that's part of the problem with keeping drugs illegal, and especially psychedelic drugs, since 1970. It's like stymied human evolution, stymied research, stymied growth. What did? Keeping drugs illegal, keeping psychedelic drugs illegal. Look, if there was psychedelic drugs, if there was a God, then he put a fail safe on the drug so that you would have a barrier. And that's Richard Nixon. That's O. that's (laughs) O.D.N. O.D.N. Yeah. Right. Right, With those drugs. Right. So really what's happening is you're like, okay, uh, whatever you're on, do it to your dead. (sighs) And yeah. so, you know, um, statistically, that's going to happen. You're going to lose some people, but the people that's not doing it, they're not going to start doing it. Like, right. And they're going to learn from the people that died. Like you learned to not eat poisonous plants. You would think. But if that were true, nobody in the world would ever do heroin. Like if you've ever seen somebody kick it, like right. you would never do it. Like it doesn't matter how it makes you feel if the end result is defecating and urinating in a puddle that you're laying in while being naked, then be, like, yeah. you, you would, uh, yeah. like, no. True. You would just call that poisonous. Ooh. 